Welcome into the DNVR Avalanche Weekly Breakdown presented by Green Mountain Dental Group. Taking care of your teeth is so important. And our friends over at Green Mountain Dental Group are giving away a free Sonicare when you schedule a cleaning x-ray and exam. That's right, you simply have to just take care of your teeth for Green Mountain Dental Group to hand over a free Sonicare toothbrush. Check them out today online or call them at 303-988-0711 to schedule your appointment today. I'm Allie Monroy and with me today is the birthday boy... Rudo, tip of the hat, simple. Yeah, I like it. Keep it easy sometimes, you know. Well, 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 indeed. I I talked about this in the Broncos podcast to start. I, Avs Avs Twitter kind of went through a meltdown yesterday um, when the Avs fell to the St. Louis Blues five two. It wasn't a good game. It but was not. They're eight. They were at that point eight zero and one eight one and one in the last ten games. Yeah, it's it's not time to jump the ship. No, absolutely not. Uh, this is not a meltdown worthy game in my opinion. In in any way, the Avs are still one of the top teams in the Western Conference. They still are absolutely competing for home ice advantage in the playoffs. Yes, the game didn't go the way everyone had hoped. Despite that. I still think they played the Blues better than they did last time. I still think there's a lot of positives to take out of this game for a team that's still learning how to be one of the better teams in the league. Also, a key factor in this is the fact that they didn't have Kill McCart or Eric Johnson on the ice, and those are two of their best four defensemen. 100%. Uh, A.J. Haefeli, my partner on the Avs beat, put it best, I think. With Kale McCarr and Eric Johnson in the lineup, the Avs have probably a top five defense in the league. Without them, they're middle of the pack. It's the difference between winning against the best teams in the league and losing against them. Yeah, the Blues weren't 100% healthy. They were missing one of their top goal scorers. But the Avs struggled specifically in the departments that Kale McCarr and Eric Johnson would help them. So it's exactly where they needed help. It was Philip Grubauer's first game starting back in net after missing a few with a lower body injury. I saw a lot of people talking about Frankie now being the number one guy, Pavel Francis, and he's played well, but it's not time to jump on that ship yet. No, absolutely not. Grubauer has still been a solid goaltender for the Avs. He takes all of the big matchups that they have to play, and he has been good enough. He struggled against the Blues, admittedly. Not a great game. His defense also didn't help him at all. I mean, they hung him out to dry on three of the four goals that he was in net for facing. And he's been solid. Is there room for improvement? Absolutely. But Francois played great. Full credit where credit's due there. He's not ready for the starter job yet. I'm just going to come out and say it. This is a guy with 16 NHL games in his career. You can't just throw him to the wolves like that. Down the line, if he continues to play well, if Group really starts to trust, starts to struggle like we saw last year when he went on a run of bad games, then that's a conversation you can have. But right now, it's full faith in your starter in Philip Grubauer. No goaltender uh, controversy right now. Definitely not yet. All right, well, the Avs have a chance to bounce back against the Chicago Blackhawks, which they've played them well this season so far. Do you think they'll do it? I do. I, the Chicago Blackhawks just do not have the donut. Do not. <laughs> Donuts, yum. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Avs might be able to eat some donuts and still beat that defense, basically. All right. Uh, they are slow. They are weak. And the Avs top six is just too talented to be held back. They can outscore that team any day of the week. With that, I feel like that's it. We're done. Mic drop. That's all I got. All right. Well, be sure to catch all of our content on thednvr.com. Go wish Rudo a happy birthday on social media. And that's all we've got. For Rudo, I'm Allie Monroy, DNVR.